So here we are again. Um, the uh, very common now is to have a, a, a day off and a two-day prep, and then no day off and a two-day prep. So we're into those, uh, and you have another one. Uh, so it is a uh, so it was important for us to get back, get the win uh, at Bradley, come back and get ready for this Western Michigan team, which is very young and very good. Uh, they don't have they have uh, one freshman that's playing, but everybody else has been there, knows the system, knows the culture run the heck out of their stuff, very well coached, and uh, again, we got to come to play. We gotta, I think we really have a, a, a really good non-conference schedule of teams that are going to challenge us, and I think this is another one. Is this one of those create your own energy type games? You know, you had the North Carolina State, they were obviously yeah. good and ranked, and you played on the road. This one is not as much. You know, I think I we, how you, you, know, you, you know, we're used to that. We have to do it every day in practice. You, gotta, you have to have energy for practice every day. And, but this is, uh, you know, when you walk out in our building and uh, we have great fans, uh, is, the energy is, is easily created. And now it's a, it's a state team. We have a lot of pride in being able to play against teams in the state. And uh, so it's, it, it's one that uh, I don't think that any game this year, that this will, should be an issue. Here, we actually all three of the directional schools in uh, you know, Central, Eastern, yeah. Western. Is there some, was that a conscious decision? It sort of worked out that way. I'm glad that it did because I think we'd played Eastern before, we played Central before, we hadn't played Western yet. It just, the dates, the, uh, uh, the home, or the home dates that we had were there, they just sort of worked out. So uh, I'm glad we could do it. I'm glad we could do it. Is this a good time in the season maybe to add a few offensive wrinkles, complicate oh, it a little no, bit? No. No. We have enough offensive wrinkles right now. We're trying to shut it down. We're trying to close it up a little bit because we've been doing things that are, are, are as almost experimenting of what we can do in games against teams and what people can handle. And every day in practice we've been doing that. We need to cut it down if we're trying to. But it's not as easy because of the... You know, with the, uh, the evolution of Nextowskis, well, that opened a new can of worms to go in one direction in certain areas. Um, with uh, Jordan Morgan and John Horford, Max Biefeld, uh and Mitch, that was another thing, playing big, playing small. We got a lot in the package, and we got to shorten it up. Is that too much for them or too much for you to go through at this point? Uh, too many probably, at this point, it's probably too much for them, but still our offensive efficiency is really good. So we're just trying to execute better. You can't. Uh, when you have so much, but we're uh, rather than add things later on, we try to see what was best for our team through trial and error, and now we're trying to develop it. And we'll, we'll tweak again, but not now is not the time. What's this been like for you to, to coach this much talent and this many options? And a lot of times we see you in games and you're just kind of sitting on the bench watching them go. You're not up. You know, is that right? This, yeah, I mean, you've seen it more than normal. What's this been like? Uh, it has been, I, I have a lot of confidence that we. Uh, uh, we're all on the same page out there. You know, we're not coaching attitudes. We're coaching just guys that want to win. And we're, we're more uh, watching, the, watching the action, see how we can teach it better. And seeing what, how, uh, you know, the old John Wood, you haven't taught until they've learned. Everybody's different out there. And that's, that's what it's more about. I'm a, we're all, the co whole coaching staff is, all right, we have uh, some young men we love to coach. How can we make them better as fast as we can? You mentioned that. Saturday, that the end of the game thing was more about their personnel and kind of what they did in that run. But are there is there something you have to look at because now it's happened yeah. two games in a row. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I I prefer it to be this way than we weren't making foul shots or something like that down the stretch. But there was almost all the steals they got and the steals the other day is just one person hanging on to it too long, long, not using the timeout, and their personnel was pretty good. But they just took the ball right out of our hands a couple of times. Uh, we've seen those videos. It's, it's something that we got to get better at, uh, but it wasn't schematic. It was just sort of, all right, you don't have to make that play. Turn and call timeout. And, and we've been working at that, but still, the they were sneaky quick. Is any of it you? Oh, they, yeah. You, I mean, you guys are young. And you have yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. But, but a couple of them, uh, two of them were by, our, by two juniors. That they just, they got into us, and we, we slipped, we fell, we bumbled the ball. And they, they were really aggressive in it. But it wasn't when they pressed us. We didn't have any issues with that, getting the ball in late. Thought we did a good job there. They took something away, we went over the top. But we cannot give the ball to the other team and be be just, uh, we gotta be really solid. We call it boss with the ball when, when they're up pressuring you. 